iRateal Teams is finally back. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out MMOEXP. There is a link down below and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. This series was some of my most popular videos back in FIFA 20 and FIFA 21, and I thought I'd finally bring it back for a return as it's a pretty easy video to record and I'm away on holiday right now. To be honest, the only reason why I haven't recorded these videos recently is because I feel like people's teams are getting to a point where, or they were at a point where they're very similar. They're getting to a point now where they're starting to get different. Uh, we've had so many special cards now where people's teams are starting to look different. But at the start of the year, I felt like people's teams looked very similar, which is why I stayed away from recording irate of teams. But we are here and ready to record. Let's have a look at some teams. We're starting off with Manus' team. He's got Lundberg and Voller. Mbappe Perisic. He's done the Danilo Pereira. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I can't lie. I don't know if I like that card. Um, as a centre mid next to Bruno Guimaraes as well, because Bruno's not exactly super offensive. And then maybe if you put Perisic in midfield as well, um, I still don't think, like, a bit defensive for me. But apart from that, it's a pretty decent team. Uh, Romero, Bruno Guimaraes. Um, that Romero also will get an upgrade if Argentina make out of the group. As I'm recording this, it's half time in the Argentina Saudi Arabia. Uh, sorry, the Argentina Poland game. I've no idea how Messi somehow got a penalty, but he missed it, so it's karma, right? Uh, but no, solid team for Manners actually. Um, really, really decent. I'm gonna try and only look at like HD screenshots. I'm gonna pick out random ones as well. Uh, we've got Matt Yoshi next. The 4 2 3 1 in game mostly. Uh, Eusebio, Brolin, and the wide cams are. Uh, sorry. Eusebio and Brolin wide cams count as a cam. I'm intrigued by that. I'm not sure Dirk Count is who I'd play as a central cam in this team, but fair play. Um, looking for improvements except my three attackers. Uh, if it was me, I'd probably been off... Like, the chemistry, chemistry system this year is a little bit annoying, so I don't know if this would work for chemistry. But what I would look to do is probably get rid of uh, Palinia, um, move Dirk Kout to a CDM spot, because I feel like he's more of an offensive CDM, and then bring in someone that could play centrally as like a central cam. Um, I think I would also put Eusebio up top and Vola on the, the wide cam spot, because Eusebio is just ridiculous, man. He's so clinical. Vola's good as well, but I just think Eusebio is so clinical. I think I'd... I, I feel like that 3 million coin card is wasted um, as a wide camp, personally. Uh, we've got Dev's team next. Plus Gas and Cruyff up top. This man's got the most ridiculous pack look of anyone ever. Uh, Lucio, centre-back, Nunmensch, um, Cancelo, uh, Bruno Guimaraes. I'm doing my best to sound different when I say all these as well. I want to I wanna sound different. I, I am being a pick-me right now. I want to sound like I know ball by pronouncing all these names right. Um, I like this team. Piquetto and Guimaraes are decent DMs. Um, Piquetto actually is a really solid card, bro. I really hope Brazil win the World Cup if England don't i want england to win but if england aren't going to win it brazil please because i've got that bruno card on my rtg a five star five star 90 rated bruno will be ridiculous i really hope that comes into fruition that would be absolutely nuts by the way these teams what we're doing with these teams i'm literally just like scanning over them and looking at them like i i i, I don't really know much about teams this year i haven't put a whole that's a blurry team i've not put a whole lot of um time into looking at players in the market this year so i don't know how much players are and things like that um i'm kind of just looking at these teams it's more like a flex episode but i thought we'd do it anyway um alawara and chiesa and nedved's an interesting one benesev Vieira, abadi pele mascherano at cb kind of ruins it Desta, Mascherano, and, and Dudek ruin this team for me. Because it's a really good team. And then you've got Mascherano. And Mascherano's not terrible, but Dest is pretty awful. And Dudek's pretty crap as well. But I understand why you've got Dest, because he gets a link to Benacer. Um It's a shame. I don't think that P Petit can play CB, but his mid can. Which is kind of annoying, because that Petit CB would actually be really good. I like his team, though. Uh, I see Nabry on the bench there as well. I don't know if he's already had his upgrade yet or not. But if, when he gets his upgrade, he'll be really good, I think. Um... All right, Gary, what's Gary's team looking like? Oh, mate, no ratings. No ratings for using a pink card. That's like using a loan, effectively. Um, I'm just joking. A 352, though. I tried using the 352 a little bit this year, and it is pretty decent, aside from, like, transitionally and counter-attacks. Brutal with this formation. It's great for build-up play. Having a lot of attackers and width and two strikers up top and a cam, beautiful. But... Uh, on the transition or on the counter-attack, it just gets absolutely ripped apart, which is a shame. Um, it is not ideal for that. But aside from that, it's a, it's a pretty decent team. I like that hero. The World Cup hero Mascherano is decent. I'm not a big fan of the base one, but the World Cup one's all right. Uh, he does an okay job. Um, before I sound like I'm contradicting myself and be like, oh, Mascherano, when I've just said that he's rubbish at CB. Um, what's Daniel saying? 
Out of position one is in game. All right, let's have a look. Um, okay, so this is what you play in game. You play 4 3 1 2 in game. Valverde and Dirk Kout with Modric. Not bad. Um, Smolarek, Voller, Eusebio. Nice. Cannavaro. Ooh. I'm a bit 50 50 on Cannavaro. Joe Gomez at right back as well. You could put Araujo at right back because he can go, he can play right back. And then you can change up your CBs potentially. Maybe Van Dyke. Um, and then, I don't know, he get for uh, Cannavaro. But aside from that, yeah, solid. Got a decent bench as well. That Timmy Cahill guard on the bench is actually pretty good. Um, spent about 50 quid on the game, but all the players in this team are packed from rewards and objective packs. Wow. Man's got Zinedine Zidane. Damn. That Renat Sanch card is uh, also 85 rated now, right? That wants to watch Renato Sanchez or Renat Sanch. He is. He's 800k for that card. That's ridiculous. 800k for it wants to watch Renato Sanchez. Kind of nuts. I mean, the card looks great, to be fair, but kind of nuts. I bet you he's insane in game, though. That team's really cool. I like Captain Vera a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me hang on, hang on. You know what? I'll be right back. Yeah, here you go, mate. All right, let me have a look. Oh, yeah, I can see you got Harry Kewell, you've got Bruno Guimaraes, you've got Pele. Yeah, I could just about see that, mate. Honestly. Lads, right? Instead of screenshotting this, if you hold down the image, you can save it. Sorry, that can't, that probably came across a little bit mean, actually. Um, I'm just trying to be funny and take the mic. Um, Cridian's team, my boy Cridian, what a guy. It's OP team. Really, really nice. Park G Sung. I really wish I got him untradeable uh, when I could have. Maybe we bring, they bring back World Cup Hero Packs. I'm not sure. Um, I see Ramsey on the bench. Tamori, Tio. It's a good team. It's a good team, that. I like that. Ribori. Uh, Jack Grealish. Did they not, I thought they changed Jack Grealish's uh, image. Or is that the is that the new Jack Grealish image? Um, that is the new one. Okay. All right. So, I don't remember what it was beforehand then. Um, Evan. That is really blurry, but we can... I love it anyway. Uh, that Anthony card makes me so jealous, man. That makes me so jealous. The only joy was a Chesney, Dallow, Cap de Villa, and Vinny. Nice, dude. Keen is glorious. I'm not surprised. Moisey Keen actually looks nuts, to be fair. I'm, I'm very surprised that more people don't use his card. He looks incredible. Um, he's just one of those cards that's not like a glamorous name. So, uh, like... But he looks really, really good. Really, really good. Um, I believe as well, by the way, I'm recording this on Wednesday night, so if stuff's come out already that, that fits into people's teams or whatnot, obviously that might be relevant for you guys, but um, apparently we're getting more World Cup icons. I think Eto's going to be one. That'll be a sick card. Um, Thanos is, a, is his team name. I like that. I'm not a big fan of that... that um, what's his name? Ricardo Cavallio. I've got him on my RTG account. He just seems like a bit of a donkey to me. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used him what your thoughts are, but for me, he's a bit of a donkey. I like that team though. Nakata is mad underrated. Nakata is a very underrated card and that uh, Robbie Keane is fantastic. Uh, I really like him a lot. Um, We've got Ben's team next. Ben plays a 4-3-1-2. Alawaren at Cam Salah up front with Morientes. Not bad. Uh, Marquisio, Beckham, and Park Ji Sung as a midfield three. That kind of, that probably works really well, actually. Uh, all three have got really good passing ability. Um, Park Ji Sung's quite tenacious in game. Uh, Marquisio's a solid all round midfielder as well. Really, really good. Yeah, that's a good team. I like that. That's a solid team. Um, I like that a lot. I'm enjoying it as well because like a lot of these teams are different, man. Like this guy has got. Phillips, Ben White, Drogba. We haven't seen those guys yet at all. Obviously, there are very, there are a lot of similarities, but at the start of the year, I looked at a lot of people's teams and there were so many Mignon, Tamori, Theo Hernandez partnerships. There were so many Kimpembe, Hakimi, Messi's or uh, Mbappe, Neymar, Renato Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I'm glad that teams look different. Man's got Perlo. That's sick. Perlo, Messi, Govu, Drogba, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. And it's first owner as well. I respect it, man. I respect it. I am bad at the game. Fair enough. I mean, embrace it, bro. I'm terrible at the game as well. Um, oh, this one looks pay to win. There we go. 3.1 million to upgrade. Mbappe, Janela, and Courtois are the only tradables. You have tradable in form Courtois. That's grim. Um, I love it, though. Uh, what would I do? Hockey's oh, bench as well, man. Look at the bench, bro. Um, 3.1 mil. I'd spend it all on packs. Yeah, just like whack it all on. Like do a few icon SPCs and whatnot. Have a bit of fun. Live a little, you know? Live a little. 
Uh, no, that's a sick team, bro. That team is awesome. GG's. That team is really, really cool. Um, Matt Chase now. PC RTG. I got lucky with a few of my packs this year. A Kotcha is untradeable. Big dubs, man. I've never seen that Werner in game. I honestly forgot he existed. Never played against him, ever. No, I'm not even kidding. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. I've never played against Cola. Never played against Werner. Rarely see that Realm. Rarely see Shiomeni. And I rarely see Carvajal as well. Don't think I've ever played against Cruz either. I mean, it's a very interesting team. It's very different, for sure. Very, very different. Um, the first one is my RTG. And the second one is paid to win. Had to dress up nicely and address this immaculate dub. And... Yeah, big nasty. Um, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just looking for different teams now. I'm kind of just like trying to look for stuff that pops out. What we got over here? 352 Schweinsteiger. Love that. Schweine actually looked really good. I've used him for two games. I didn't really get, an, get much of an idea of how good he was, but I, I think this team looks really cool. Um, I think you could probably get in Ed Emiletau and get some chemistry to Valverde, as well as potentially look to try and get a Uruguayan manager if one exists. Then you've got two chem points just from those two uh, positions straight away. Um, I'd probably take out Bobby Moore for him. Um, it is an incredible 11, I get that, but yeah, that's probably what I'd do. And you get really close to full chemistry there as well. Um, what we saying, what we saying. We've got Jack's team, 43 winning gain. Ke mate, Keen is very good. Keen is very, very good. Sizoko is a card I rarely see, to be fair. Sizoko is a card I rarely, rarely see. Uh, Perry's is a right back. I like that. Uh, Kulisevsky. Uh, are you a Spurs fan? A lot of Spurs influence over here. I'm going to have to leave that because a lot of Spurs influence. I'm not sure I feel all right after seeing that. No offense, Spurs fans. <laughs> Path to Glory, Bruno and Park are the only cards that I've bought. I mean, I respect it. Two decent cards. Mbappe, pink, get out of here. I hate it. I hate playing against pink Mbappes in objectives or in, in rivals or something. Like, get out of my face, man, with these pink Mbappes. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see pink Mbappe. Um, oh, you did Ericsson. Nice, bro. Past and present MUFC RTG. Oh, that is sick, dude. That is a really cool, a really cool concept, actually. I should probably do something like this on the second channel. I really should. I should probably, like, just... Just figure out something and do something like this. This is really cool, man. Casemiro, Ericsson, Bruno, Anthony, Solskjaer, Ashley Young. Quick question. If you pack Ronaldo, right? If you pack Ronaldo, are you using him? That is my question. If you pack Ronaldo, are you using him? How do you feel about the Ronaldo situation? In the comments down below, for your main night or maybe not, how do you feel about the whole Ronaldo situation? I think personally for me... Uh, I think it's for the best that his contract's been terminated. I think it's best for him and for the club. Um, I think that it'll allow us to move on and get someone young and bring in some new talent. I always thought that there was this looming pressure in the dressing room with Ronaldo. Um, I always felt that he added a bit too much pressure on the players sometimes, which I think is a good thing sometimes, but also sometimes it's not. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that now we can part ways and fresh start, clean slate, because I think it's been a really rough year and a half since Ronaldo came back, and it would be nice to build now with Ten Hag, um, and and kind of, you know, hit a clean say. I love Ronaldo. I love him to bits. He's my GOAT, right? I think Messi's the better player, but I think Ronaldo's my GOAT. Like, he is the one that I love more, um, and he is the one that I idolised as a kid. Loved him to bits, so I hope the best for him in the remaining years of his career. But yeah, it's good. Good clean slate. And let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are. If they're different from mine or if you agree, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. A lot of a lot of yellow over here. A lot of gold. Thinking of getting Alawaran? Uh, absolutely. Get him. He's incredible. He's absolutely nuts. I'd probably get him over Dembele for sure. The um, rest of the team is pretty good. I think you've cheaped out a little bit on Marquez and Mascherano. Uh, I might throw in Belisar over Marquez. Uh, you need to try Marquez for a little bit. Yeah, give him a go. If you don't like him, yeah, get rid of him because um, he's definitely like... I think these two are a little bit... Uh, they kind of bring down the overall uh, spectrum of level of player in this team, for sure. Uh, Richard's team now. Um, I rock this. I've been doing a Team of the Year pack project since day three. How? Wow. I mean, I hope you pack a Team of the Year. I hope you pack about five Team of the Years, to be honest. Don't know how you manage that. I can't. I, I just can't do it to myself. Like, it's torture. It's torture trying to do... Uh, a pack, a pack, team of the year pack project, especially in day three. Oh, we're going to do a couple more teams and call it there. Um, we've got Dazza's team, uh, Lundberg, Alawaran, Mascherano, looking pretty solid. Another 3-5-2. I'm really liking how many 3-5-2s I'm seeing. Not, I'm very, very surprised and pleasantly surprised at how many 3-5-2s there are. Very, very cool. All incredible apart from Oblak and Lorente. Wow. 
Kuo Govu untradeable. Very nice. Mbappe untradeable. You've gone with Danilo Prevo as well. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Araujo is a sick pull as well. And the last one we'll do is Small Panda. I don't play every day because I'm focused on exams, but here you go. I live in Belgium. Um, you, so you can't buy FIFA points. Interesting. Good team, to be fair. Considering considering it is a no money spent RTG, can't buy FIFA points, no way of doing that. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool team. But the retired of IRA teams today. If you guys want to see more of it, please leave a like down below. I might start bringing it every week again. Uh, thank you for watching and, and leave your feedback on this video if you have it. Um, a little bit different to how we used to do it. Before, it would be very much, okay, this is how you do this. How, much, how many coins you got? Improve here or improve there. Now, I'm kind of more just taking the mick and like, you know, just running it, seeing what the teams are like. More casual. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I much prefer making videos like this where I'm more myself because I like. I'm 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 always worried that people are going to cancel me or or not like how I act when I'm acting like myself. But to be honest, I'm very like. This is just how I am. Like, if we're on stream or whatever, I'm just like, yeah, I mean, cool team. But, like, if it's blurry, I'm going to take 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 the mickey out of it being blurry or something. Do you know what I'm saying? So, uh, if you like this style, please let me in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. I'm away, so that's why there's been a lack of videos. But I'll be back on Thursday for some more content. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.